I, I hate being the first question, but I, one, first I want to say, Eric, you were robbed for the Good Guy Award. I, 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 you have, probably have no idea what that award is, but you were robbed. Um, and it, what do you think happened yesterday in terms of why the team performed at that level when we hadn't seen that from you guys going back to last year, the third game of the season? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, you know, what happened that game? Because that's you know definitely not us as a team. Uh, really, like the whole year, man. That reminded me of uh, last year when we were getting beat by Baltimore like that. And I was like, yeah, I remember that feeling. I was like, so it's not a good feeling, but I'm not sure what happened. There's, there's no like exact, you know, word. You know, we can just put on it. I, maybe it was just like a you know, kind of feeling like, you know, the energy was dying. And then after that, they were just, you know, they were just taxing it on us. So, but I'm not, not, not sure what happened. Adam? Uh, your, your teammates have mentioned, and I'm sure you agree that yesterday was not uh, representative of how this team actually is, that you're a much better team than that. I'm curious, do you think this is a close team? Do you think this is a team that is poised to take the next step this year or did, did it, kind of expose some things you all need to work on? Uh, it, it's, it's a little bit of both. I mean, it did kind of kind of expose, you know, things that, that we need, that we need to work on uh, to make that jump for next year. But, you know, looking from last year, from 19 season to this season, I mean, it was a huge jump. And then, you know, so now we're all, we're obviously, we're planning to take that momentum from this year to next year, make that, you know, make that next step where we can compete with, you know, playoff contending teams. Josh. Hey, Eric, appreciate you, man. Um, what was it like uh, playing with Xavier and Howard uh, this season? You know, he, he obviously balled out, had his 10th pick yesterday. And, you know, he's in the conversation for defensive player of the year. So as a teammate, uh, what, what would kind of be your final pitch to, you know, the, the ones listening out there? Yeah, it was, it, it was definitely a, a special year, you know, seeing him, you know, kind of, you know, rise, you know, especially after last year, uh, going through like surgery and something with like something with his knee. That was all, you know, especially as a DB, that's that's tough to, you know, recover from and just to go from that to to get double digit interceptions and to lead the league in picks and now and talks for like defensive player year. That's not easy, you know, and just playing alongside him, watching him play. You know, it it is you know it kind of amazes you because you know you just you're kind of you're watching it firsthand in person, uh, you know, from practice, training camp, you know, all the way to the end of the season. So, uh, I you know I haven't been around like you know a guy close to being like that like is up there like Stephon Gilmore, you know, when I play with him. So I mean it's 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 pretty amazing. Travis. Hey, Eric. Good afternoon, man. Good to see you. Um, I know you've only had about 24 hours now to reflect upon it. Maybe you haven't gotten there yet, but I'm curious, how would you look back at your first full season at the safety position? But also, you mentioned this offseason kind of having to prepare for that new position in a, a unique offseason. What can you maybe take this year and apply it to the offseason program to maybe get yourself more ready this season for uh, your second full year as a safety? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I haven't really got time to, you know, like, look back at the whole season, but uh, you know, as a, you know, I, I guess as my first full year at safety, I, mean, I did make, I feel like I made a lot of improvements, you know, in the run game, something I had trouble with last year, obviously, you know, come from corner. Uh, and then, you know, working on that in the off season, off season, uh, obviously always working on coverage stuff. I mean, you can never get enough work at that. And, you know, I think for me just to make that next jump is to make those few plays that, you know, I left out there on the field, um, uh, against you know all pro type of you know players that you know I got to be able to you know cover those type of guys if I want to you know be considered you know one of the best covering safety so that's something I got to take in the offseason work on and improve and then uh, I don't know you know next year's schedule but you know hope to get that opportunity again. Joe? Hey Eric I wanted to uh, clarify what Omar was saying at the beginning of our talk Basically, you're a finalist uh, for media, media Good Guy Award. So oh, that's in top three. <laughs> you're, you're in the top three. We all voted you as a guy who's professional 
and helps us do our job. So we appreciate you uh, being a good person to talk to all year in these difficult circumstances. No, my, no. My, my, my question is actually about Igbenogany. I'm gonna be very curious to see how he comes in year two, uh, not having played too much this year. What, what did you see in terms of his development throughout the year in practice and meetings? And, and what do you think he might be able to do, you know, in his career in the future? Yeah, I know he needs to, you know, you know, just like everybody from year one to year two, kind of, you know, make that make that jump. And, you know, even though he didn't play much in the games this year, you know, it, a lot of people obviously don't get you don't get to see like in practice. Uh, he his cover skills have gotten, you know, a lot, you know, a lot better from uh, when whenever we played the Bills. Uh, you know, I forgot what week that was early on. Uh, you know, so I, I mean, I, we all seen him uh, in practice. He'll go against, you know, Devontae Parker and when Preston was here and Akeem and and he had some really good he had some really good coverage um, coverage plays out there against them. Uh, you know, with Fitz and Tua throwing the ball at him. So, even though a lot of people don't get to see that, but, you know, and obviously he'll take that into the offseason, keep working on it. Uh, and, you know, for next year, you know, he'll make that he'll make that jump. And then so when his name is called, his number is called again, you know, it's not going to be like, you know, how it was against uh, whenever we played the Bills. Uh, so, you know, for him in the future, like it's, you know, I know a lot of people – they, you know, they got to go based off that game, but his his future his future is looking great. Oh. Hey, Eric, uh, as the guy who tallies up the votes for the Good Guy Award, I can second what Joe was saying that <laughs> we in the media very much appreciate uh, your professionalism and dealing with us all year, and we thank you for that. Um, I, I'm making an assumption with my next question here. Um, and I'm assuming that there were guys who were either frustrated or angry after yesterday's game. If I am on target with that, is anger a good motivation to lead you into next season? It, it, it can go both ways. It can go both ways. Uh, like, it, it's a good motivator, you know, to, you know, kind of remember what that feeling feels like. Because obviously you don't want to feel like that again, uh, but also you know, you know, personally for me, like yeah, I was frustrated and you know, kind of anger, like frustrated the way the season ended. Because you know that you know that's not like us, but uh, it was a you know, you just gotta take like that that lesson that you know that experience right there of okay, well we know what we got to get do uh, we have to you know work on the off season you know get ready for next season because. Uh, we see 10 wins is not enough. It's a lot. It's a lot of wins, though. It's it's hard to get, but it's, it wasn't enough. So, yeah, you can take anger, like, as a motivator. Like, for me, like, yeah, frustrated, but, you know, I'll get over it and just take kind of, like, you know, the lessons that, you know, why did we not make the playoffs, you know, throughout the whole year? You know, why did we lose this game? You know, take those, you know, kind of failures and work on that for next year. Uh, there's one hand left. We'll go to Cam. Hey, Eric, what's up, man? Um, if I could ask maybe a, a two-parter. One, um, you talked about the takeaways, and you guys were so great at that this year. They always say that takeaways is sort of volatile from year to year. How do you make sure that you guys can still be great in that in 2021? Um, and then I, I guess I'll ask the second one after that if, if, if Fred will leave me open. Oh, yeah, the takeaways were, they were huge this year. Um, man, it, it even got – it's, it really started in training camp. Uh, it's not, you know, er, everyone says like all 32 teams, you know, defensive wise say, you know, we got to get turnovers. Uh, you know, obviously that's the key to success. We got to get it. And yeah, everyone talks about it. Uh, but I think, you know, from this training camp and like last year, we really made it a, uh, like a focus where, I don't think if y'all remember I'm telling y'all in training camp that we had that we had that game going on between like safeties and corners and who can punch the ball out, who can, you know, try to get the interceptions. It was just a focus every single day. And that carried on in the season and you know it helped as well. So, you know, so next year we have to start from or we have to start well if we can go do OTAs. But you know, if we can't, 
we have to start from training camp again. We can't just talk about it. You know, we've got to do it all over again because we can go from the best to the worst, you know, from year to year. So, yeah. Now, I remember that Burbs, Burbs versus Hood, I think, was one of the games. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I guess the second part of that question, and I asked Bake this earlier, turnovers probably was one of the biggest jumps that you guys made year to year. If there's anything that you would point out, maybe in 2021 where you say, hey, I would love us to see us make a jump in that area, what, what, what would that be? Like defensive-wise? Yeah, defensively. I guess you could say team as well, but like maybe defensively since we were talking defensive categories. Uh, Yeah, our I know one thing we do need to prove, like which it wasn't, it's not like horrific, but, you know, you can always get better. Is our run game, especially early on in the year, you know, we start struggling against the run and uh, you know, kind of from then on, you know, once teams know what you, you know, what you're weak at, they're going to keep attacking it. So I know that's one thing that definitely, you know, we can work on for next year. Uh, obviously, keep the we got to keep the takeaway, keep the turnovers high, and then shoot. Maybe another thing is shoot. I don't even know. I don't even know. We we're pretty good in other category. Just keep keep that consistent. But yeah, that that run, the run game like. If we can just get that nailed down from the start, oh man, it'd be it'd be a lot easier.